Okay. What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome to Black Blood, an independently developed third person shooter that looks to draw inspiration from Resident Evil or Dead Space, or... but I was so thoroughly impressed by the screenshots for, you know, a, a game of this 3D modeling caliber. And uh, I wanted to give it a try and see what it was like, so let's just get right into it. Press enter. Oh! Okay. Finally, you're awake. We're locked inside the building. Looks like she came here to eat, but don't worry. I know how to get out of here. Just follow me. Come on. Did you just say it looks like she came here to eat? What? What the hell is going on here? All I did was come for a drink, and all of a sudden I passed out. Okay. Dr. Phillips' diary. Name a patient, Helen. Observation, elderly woman. She was hospitalized after suffering from sudden tetraplegia. Patient is deaf, dumb, and blind. The nurses have decided to call her Helen Keller. The identity and age of this patient are unknown, as is the existence of relatives. Okay, not cool, nurses. Name of patient, David Amado Fernandez, age 31. Coma caused by car crash. The patient was driving while suffering from a flu and a high fever. The flu and fever are under control, but we do not know if he will regain consciousness. Was oh, that me? Hi. Something over there. Hi. Ah, ah, shit. Get off my dick. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, we got some zombos. I, s I can sprint. Yes. Oh. What the fuck are you? What the hell? Jesus Christ, you look like the frickin' girl from Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, you walk away, Zombo. You don't want to deal with me. Maybe you do want to deal with me. Awesome. I like that. So far the mechanics are all really, really solid. Dr. Phillips Diary. The patients are getting progressively worse. A very severe contagious disease is spreading through the whole hospital. Doors and windows have been sealed. Quarantine status has been declared. Symptoms of the new disease. Loss of consciousness. In insensitivity to pain. Large skin tumors. High level of aggressive behavior, color of blood. The black color of the blood is the most shocking feature of this disease. For that reason, the staff has named it the Black Blood Disease. That makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. Yes, it does. Let's go 
going on in here? I got a key! I like keys. Whoa, what are you? I got 30 bullets. I kind of want to put a round in your head just, just to be safe. Dr. Phillips' diary, February 2nd, 2017. Helen's birth certificate has finally been found by the police. But it's impossible. Helen was born on December 25th, 1817. She's 200 years old. Well, shit. Looks like we've got some, um, some necromancy going on here. I call necromancy. Yeah. Uh, blood donations? 12th of July, 2012? Uh, do I go in the elevator, or do I check the other door? Elevator has no electricity. Whoa! Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is very like Resident Evil or Dead Space or um wow. Wow, wow, wow. going on in here? Hello? Okay. Nothing going on in there. This is the room we started in. Use the key. Door's now open. Awesome. Before we get out of here, we should find the rest of the survivors. Dr. Phillips' diary. Inexplicably, Helen is recovering quickly. She has started to talk. However, she only says, I am here to feed, but she refuses to eat any of the food we offer her. She often talks to my nephew, Ben. Why did he come to visit me at the hospital? He could be infected with black blood syndrome or disease. I could never forgive myself if that happened. Oh, we got some little cocky roaches. Whoa! No thank you. What the hell is going on in here? Let's let's just meander on down. Let's not deal with that. Oh cool, there's a dead horse in here. There's a few dead horses. What are these? Oh, cool. Can I use those as a distraction or something? It seems like they have a very express purpose. Let's see if I can hit you from here. Come on now. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I hear another one. Alright, let's read this. Maintenance report one to Dr. Phillips. We have... Uh, succeeded in stopping the uh, water leakage on the fire detectors on the first floor, but any future damage to them would cause further water leakage. Please be careful with the first floor fire detectors. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> what else is going... Oh, there's something over here. 30 bullets! 
I am so very okay with that. Oh, other side of the desk. 30 bullets! Holy shit! I am just loaded to the teeth now. Okay, it doesn't look like I can do anything over there. Aha! Uh -huh. You must investigate the next door of the hospital. Oh, the exit door of the hospital. The chain blocks the exit door. Maintenance report to, to Dr. Phillips. The building has not, uh, has not enough power supply at the moment. No more than one floor can be supplied with power at any one time. On the third floor, electricity is needed to keep the elevator working. On the second floor, we need to turn the electricity on to turn on the lights. On the first floor, we need electricity to keep the external metal shutter open. Please use the power supply wisely according to the floor that you're on. Oh. So what if... Okay, so how do I switch these on and off? Enter. Turn you. Can I turn you off? Okay, I can only turn one on at a time. Cool, so let's try the second floor then. I really hope I don't have to fight undead horses. That would be severely creepy. I hear some grumblings. Oh, can they follow me out here? Or did I just screw myself over by completely filling up the door? Okay, cool. They return to their own original positions. Okay. Okay. Sweet. You guys don't drop anything. Still plenty of ammo, though. That is awesome. Okay, what have we going on in here? Maintenance report 2, Helen has vanished from before my very eyes. It seems like her cells evaporated. Now she's in another part of the hospital, but where? I need to research this phenomenon. Yeah, dude, you've got a 200-year-old teleporting lady on your hands here. I feel like we should get the frickin' CDC involved right away. Right the fuck away. Uh, that looks like a key card reader. Yep. Nope. There we go. What do we have going on in here? 30 bullets! Damn, I've got a lot of ammo now. Oh, this is the hole that we saw downstairs, isn't it? Yeah. Did we already read this? I have seen Helen turn into a horse. Am I going crazy? Too many days locked up in this hospital? I think Helen is infecting the other patient. She steals their vitality. Helen is not a person, but some strange being. A demon who wanders around the world. I'm a man of science. It must be a biological phenomenon. Maybe I can find a way to stop her. Ah, yes. The old... Science versus mysticism. Goodies and games. So let's go back downstairs. Uh, turn the power back on for... The third floor. 
and then head up there and try to use the elevator. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Oh, that feels like that was coming from inside my own head. No bueno! Whoa! Okay. Oh, I should have expected it that time. have any effect. Alright! Let's power on! Hi! Hi! Okay. Bye! Oh no! Not you! Yeah, I thought I saw you standing over there. And there's a lot more bodies here now. Can I pop a cap in your ass? Nope. Okay, cool. Oh, nice! I actually have a reflection. Kind of. To a certain degree. That's okay. Um, yeah, floor two, because we, hopefully this will lead to the other side of that blocked off area. Hello? I can't find it. Damn it. You. You're Dr. You're Phillips, Dave. aren't you? Am I really losing my mind? You were the patient that was in a coma. You're awake. There's no time to celebrate. We're in grave danger. Helen has been completely unleashed, and I've lost the barbiturate injections. I need them to stop this massacre. <laughs> Damn it, Helen, let me go. <laughs> find the injection. <laughs> you have to find them. Okay. <laughs> oh, you just dematerialize. That's okay. Re whoa, 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 okay. Jesus Christ. I don't know what just happened. I really don't know what just happened. Is it safe to read? Only in video games do you ask if it's safe to read in a situation like this. Maintenance Report 2. By modifying the molecules, I have discovered how to weaken Helen when she is at her most powerful. The answer is water. Simply water. Water destabilizes Helen's cells to change her back into a woman where she is more vulnerable. I have prepared a dose of barbiturates that could kill a horse. I will inject her when she uh, is in her human form and stop her cells from working. I have to sacrifice Helen to save humanity. Oh! I accidentally led her into the fire extinguisher. Whoa! That's actually a really, really good way of showing that mechanic. Because it forces you to run... That was really cool! That was really cool! I got the keycard! Awesome! Wow! And now that it taught me that, I assume I'm gonna have to... Let's go down to the first floor, see what's down there. But I'm gonna have to use it on the first floor, where all of these are. 30 bullets. Wow!
Oh, now we've got the little kid. back down to the first floor. Oh, we're going to get the barbiturates now, which I'm assuming are in some sort of um, pharmacy back there. Is that on the second floor? It was on the second floor, wasn't it? Yeah, let's, let's flip the lights back on for that. There we go. I, I just feel like something's going to come running out at me at any moment. Key card. Whoa. We've got some funky junk going on in here. Oh, wow. That's just a straight up pair of freaking bolt cutters. Surgical shear. Oh, I can use that to escape, can't I? I just need to go back outside and turn on the power to the first floor. I really like the way the doors work in this, too. Oh, when I... Now that I have this, I'm assuming once I open up these gates, Helen is going to show up again. Must find the rest of the survivors? Who are the rest of the survivors? Oh, that kid? Do I need to go back up to the why why is there fog? Yeah, I need to go find that kid, don't I? That's uh that's the doctor's son. Or his nephew, his nephew. Thought there might be a use for these rooms later. Whoa, okay, I confess it. I took the injections from the Dr. Phyllis office. She told me it will be funny, but now everybody's disappeared. I want to go back with my family. Okay, come with me. We're getting out of this place. Do I actually have to like protect you now? Oh, shit. That's a really nice little touch that you actually duck. Wow. Nice. All right. Helen. Come play with me, Ben. You are a good boy. Come. Don't you want to play any more with me, Ben? Come come closer. I still want to be your dad. Yep. 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 Oh, 
Oh, nice, Ben. What have you done to me? When the big man knows about this, we'll be on it. Okay. What? Oh. Whoa. What should we do now, Dave? We should live. Holy hell. Wow. Okay. I am kind of conflicted overall about the game because in one sense, it does some things really, really, really well. And others are, I think, technical issues that are hard for small independent teams to overcome. So, Overall, I'm going to say that was a damn good indie third-person shooter in like a, I wouldn't call it a survival, but definitely a like atmospheric horror genre. The amount of time that I was scared of going through a door, one, because there was no cutscenes, there were no animations in those. You just, you have complete control walking through them, looking around corners and expecting something to be there every single time. That was amazing atmosphere building. The way that it taught you certain mechanics, like the water falling down on Helen, that the only place you can run has sprinklers that are on, and you don't know what you did until you read that afterwards saying water disrupts her and makes her vulnerable. That was amazing telling of the mechanics through a like an environmental teaching sort of way. That was fucking fantastic. I think overall the game suffers a little bit from the writing and the voice acting but I understand that those are things that can be really, really difficult to overcome in an indie developing setting. Again, I'm no freaking expert about that kind of stuff, but I think the overall finesse and feel of the game could really be improved by, you know, just a little bit of refinement on the character models and animations. The animations were good, they were, for the type of game this is. And the, the voice acting, I think, could use a lot of work. It all felt very overacted, as if everybody was trying to be Solid Snake. I think it could have benefited a lot from being in a situation where people felt a little more off-put by the situation that was going on, that they weren't all just kind of gruff, fuck this situation kind of feeling. You know, you're a regular guy put in this scenario who happens to figure out what needs to be done and succeed. I think lending a little bit of fear to the characters in these situations would have helped portray the, the characters that were being represented. But yeah, I think in terms of environmental design, it was really, really well done. The, the story was engaging, but I think the, the dialogue, or the, not the dialogues, the text logs, I don't know what was up with all the like random capitalization in that, but it made them feel a lot more disjointed. But yeah, I think I think overall this is a really really solid foundation for a an indie game that could really live up to its inspirations. Really well done, devs. Really well done. I look forward to seeing what you guys do in the future, but until then, thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire and I will see you next time.